All right, Mr. Gatekeeper here. All right, Mr. 1104, here's your uh, Texas Star Mod V. As promised, man, I apologize wasn't able to get this done in time for you to bring this from the Manchester with me. It was uh, good to shake your paw there at Manchester, Mr. 1104, but I uh, <clears throat> also want to give a shout out to Mr. Uh, 073. He, he helped me with this too, man. Uh, got this thing looking good. Got this thing cleaned out for me. Got it. Uh, got this thing working for me. And then uh, I just uh, replaced a few caps there and got everything back to the original. So he did most of the hard work. He got all the hard work out of the way, and I uh, finished put the cherry on top. <laughs> but um, the uh, the thing wasn't keying for you. Uh, so, uh, the, the key and transistor had went out. Mr. 073 replaced that. He, uh, he also replaced, um, the, I believe he replaced the cap on the output transformer. And, um, like I said, he got it cleaned up good. He also, I believe he put this under here because this right here was kind of shortened out on the, uh, because he, the, these, uh, these variables, man, they're a little too big. You usually have to put something up under there. You just really don't want it touching anything if you can help it. But um, you had a bulb that was out too on here on the front on the, for the power. Preamp works. Mr. 073 got the preamp working. And uh, 073 also put the uh, proper value on your feedback circuit here there was uh whatever was on there wasn't the proper value so he got the uh the uh, 68 ohm on there for you and let me take you over here and let you see what i was what i did to it pretty much every single capacitor in the whole amp was the wrong value for this model okay even the um Even the padding resistor was the wrong value. And there's your uh, blown bulb right there that I replaced for you. And also, I didn't like the way these leads right here. These two leads right here, they were on the variable right here. And they were bare. I mean, I don't even know how they wasn't hitting the top of the case. And uh, here's your power wire. I just went ahead and took this off and, and replaced it. I'll send that back to you. And uh, that plug as well came off though it was smoking on 073 he went that's when he went ahead and took them both off but all right let's go ahead and show you man uh it had terrible input reflect when i when i started on it before i replaced all the capacitors back to their original values they're supposed to be this one this one that one right there from collector to ground i went ahead and replaced the the cap on the output transformer uh, excuse me, 073 replaced that. Okay, he replaced that one. And then down here you see the uh, for the tune. That was completely off too. So I went ahead and put that in uh, what it's supposed to be. And also the padding resistor went ahead and got you a 180 on there. Alright, I ain't got much time. Let me go ahead and speed through this. We're looking at your output reflect. Output SWR as some would call, okay? Because it, it did have a lot of it. Turn the box on. Here we go. Dela. Dela. Beautiful. Hardly no movement at all. Now I'm going to take that off. Pop the 10, 10 watt slug on the input because it had almost 3 watts of input reflect. Now let me show you the input. Dela. Dela. Beautiful, beautiful. It, it was going all the way to three watts when I first started, so that's good, man. It's like about 250 milliwatts. All right, let's go ahead and pop the slug in there. Show you what it's doing with just a bench radio hitting it. It's not the most powerful output. Oh, yeah. All right, that's right there about 20 to 30 on the RMS. Here's the peak. Oh, yeah. 
Alrighty, that's right there.